Hi there and welcome. I am excited that you're here and I just wanted to take a few moments and minutes really to to talk about felt sense intuition and what that really is and how do you connect to it. Um, the last few days we've been really cultivating this relationship of a connection to your body. Um, we've done the, the first and couple dates where you've been really listening to your body's needs, to going out into nature and to silencing the external noises so you can really connect into your senses. We've moved into the foods and what is your body really, really craving? Um, like the nourishing, like not from your head of what do you want, um, what you should be eating, but what does your body really want? And, and we've gone into movement, like how does your body want to move? How does it want to speak to you? And, and now we're moving into a little bit more subtle of this felt sense intuition. Um, for myself, I can speak very, kind of very dearly I mean, with deep gratitude. My felt sense has been, it's been my, my North Star um, all my life. Honestly, it really has been. Um, when I have been pursuing this bigger vision that I have of teaching the spirit, the mind, and the body, um, I knew where I was going. I knew where I was being called to teach and share with others, and I didn't know that path. I didn't know exactly what it looked like. And I really trusted my own gut feeling. I took a lot of classes and courses, but did it feel right? Um, it might sound right, like theoretically and logically, and it makes a lot of sense. And I understand this, how this, the different therapies and modalities can help people um, but does it feel right to me? Is this really what suits me? Um, think about when when you're buying a home or you're renting a home or you're going into a space and you're shopping around and you, you're going into all these different homes and these different apartments or condos and when you walk in, have you ever noticed how it feels? Like have you ever found that one that regardless of the location or the place or anything else like that, the details. But as soon as you step into the door, like it feels like home. Like I, okay, now I've got little goosebumps. So it just, it's that feeling of like home. And as even as I say that, my body just starts to soften and it starts to open up. And so my body's communicating to me as far as like, this is the place we're meant to be. This is the direction we're supposed to go in. Um, and I have been cultivating this relationship for, a, for all my life. I've been trusting and trusting and trusting and connecting in and listening to the wisdom. And so what I wanted to speak to is I wanted to give you a couple tools to practice um, and to really start to figure out how your body speaks to you. Because just like fingerprints, every different body, every different relationship, every different individual is so unique and so different. Um, for me, my felt sense, it originates, there's, there's a whole body sensation of knowing um, that I cue into, although most of it comes down, I'm down on my belly, um, like right in my diaphragm is where it cues me. Um, I've worked with a client before who um, hers was her forearm, like her forearm, something about it, like that's where her body communicated to her the most um, when she's trying to make decisions. And there are two different ways that I wanted to move through and teach you how to just start playing with your own inner wisdom and your own inner guidance. Um, and the first one is... Um, you've heard of muscle testing, maybe, maybe not. Um, maybe you've had it done with other people um, performing it on you. However, there's actually a way you can muscle test for yourself. And there's a couple different ways, and the way I like to, to do it um, that is pretty, pretty clear. It's really clear for me. There's other ways that seem a little more complex than this, this method. I'm going to show you in a moment. Um, I feel is the most simplistic. 
um, and easy to start to tap into. And so what you do is you place your, your um, non-dominant um, arm in front of you. And what you're going to do with your other hand is you're just going to push against your, your wrist. And what you're going to do is hold a thought and actually say it out loud. And you're going to muscle test. And what I mean by that is, so I'm going to test, like, my name is Monica. That's what I'm testing. And if it's true, then my arm's not going to move. If it's false, then it's going to push forward. So I'm going to say, my name is Monica. I'm going to push. And it holds pretty strong. Um, and it doesn't move and it doesn't budge. And I can change it. And I could say, my name is Jezebel. So again, I say my name is Jezebel and I push and the arm, it, it shifts, it, the muscles actually weaken. And so that's one way to start to test your body. Like, is this right for me? I've even gone into stores and you can actually lift up your arm. Is, is this, um, I'm thinking fruits, orange. Does my body need oranges right now? And start to muscle test. Oh, I guess I don't need oranges. <laughs> No, nope, it doesn't want oranges right now. Um, it doesn't want citrus. And and so you can start tapping into your body awareness that way. Um, another one, which is the one I was speaking to, was to really just notice your body and how it wants to speak to you. So doing the same exercise, I'm going to take a moment and just bring my awareness back to my body and I'm going to say my name is Monica and as I say that I almost feel like my body like my muscles they soften and relax and there's almost like this rotation where they're opening up. And I'm feeling that in my arms as well as in my legs. Now I'm going to say, my name is Jezebel. And as soon as I said that, like almost immediately, my um, upper abdomen muscles, they they tightened up and clenched down. Um, and so my body's in the contraction and saying, no, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> that's not true. Um, that's not aligned. And using these two different tools are great ways to start to connect with your body and to start to ask questions and allow your body to continue to guide you. Um, if you're thinking about for the entrepreneurs, or if you're thinking about a program that you want to launch, um, you can do either the muscle testing or the felt sense of, I go through this process myself with dates. Um, I go in and like, is this the right program for me? And I start naming it. Um, is this the right dates for me to release? And then I start naming to see which one um, really resonates as the right timing for me. Um, so it's like my own inner divination tool, um, Oracle card extraordinaire is like my actual body tissues. <laughs> um, so, so play with it. And once you notice, at least for myself, what I've noticed over the decades of practice of the more I trust and the more I follow, the more my body starts to show me, um, different subtleties, different paths. And I can even set an intention for myself of, of the vision of, of wanting to, to teach um, larger crowds and to teach and, and work with um, a lot of students and setting that intention and really aligning with my body is that it will start to draw me in that direction. Like that's my vision. And we're on board together with the spirit, the body, and the mind. And even as I say that, I feel like this, this stillness and this trust of show me where to go. Show me where I'm to serve. 
and where I'm to lead. And it's not completely being uh, surrendered to the universe. It's, it's a co-creation with divinity and myself. I'm going to be of service. And in stepping into who I am as a teacher, as a spiritual teacher in this world, I'm going to serve those to help others. And holding that, and I can feel like the stillness within me and my body and my mind and the spirit are all working together. And so when I make the, the smaller choices of which is the right course or the right path for myself, I can cue in to my own body felt sense. Like, is this the right path for me? Is this the right mentor to be working with? And it leads me, it leads me to the right path every single time. So play, be curious, and um, with deep love and gratitude, a heartfelt thank you.